I was actually at my parents' house working on my last collection when the video came out. So I click it and I'm like freaking out. I created a series of crowns. They were texting her photos and everything that I'm doing and we created a piece and you know, we sent it to her and I had chills. Like I had chills, I was crying, it was, it was amazing. People have no idea what this takes. People are always like, oh, aren't you worried? Like I see so-and-so is copying you, so-and-so is copying you. And I said, no one's gonna put in the hours that I do because I'm crazy and I'm willing to put in the hours. I don't remember a time that I wasn't an artist. I didn't have video games or anything growing up. It was like, here's some art supplies or here's some clay or a scrap of something to make into something. So, you know, my parents gave me everything that I needed to grow. I'm very inspired by global regalia. I get a lot of comments now, now that my crowns are being worn by, I guess, more famous people. People think it's like cultural appropriation and all this stuff, but I don't think about a certain culture when I'm making things, you know. For me, it's more like, what else can I do with metal? How do I take this material and make it new and fresh? So for this event, I want to have like a four-tier cake that's red. I feel like I think in shapes. I can work it out in my head exactly where things are gonna be placed. I never really do like a loose sketch, so everything is hand done. Like I hand weave the metal, I hand cut, I punch things. I could sit there and glue all this stuff together, but instead I'm sitting here and I'm drilling for an art piece or I'm riveting for a crown or something like that. My skin is literally coming off my hands, I'm sliced open and then I have red dye in the slices. So I end up looking like it's almost like I tattoo myself and I have like red dye coming up my hand. Sire and I, we were literally side by side. I taught him how to do the linking. He's like a master now. He also handles like all the coordination for pulls and stuff when stylists come and he manages orders too, like the production of everything we do. So I wouldn't be able to do it without him. I think if you focus on your product being good, everything else will come. I focus so much on, on evolving and making these one-of-a-kind pieces that if the right people see it, then they'll love it. I'll race you. Samsung's next big thing, or things as I should say, are here, and they're called the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge.